Hello YouTube, this is Chris Deacon. I'm back. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins came out sometime this morning. Um, you guys will also be getting Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist live reaction 4, 5, and 6 today. Uh, that will probably take a while to upload after this. Sometime in the afternoon, probably. Um, oh, I... Uh, uh, Winry and Edward came in the mail. So now I have um, Armstrong, Edward, and Winry. I'm slowly collecting them. I've not put them on shelves because they are staying right here. <laughs> Probably some of the other ones I will put up on shelves. Probably above me. Um, or in the background over there with all the rest. Uh, this is called Chapter 304, The Executioner's Request. What's the mean in this, Zeldris? Oh yeah, Zeldris started attacking. Flutter. I have business with Meliodas. I would request that you back off of this father. But before that, there's one thing I want to ask you. Did you order me to execute the vampire clan knowing full well of my relationship with Glinda? Gloda. There's no N in there. I don't know why I said Glinda. Gloda. You are a fool who cannot understand how it feels to be a parent wanting to save their child from a deadly disease. What? You are weak, and weakness is a disease. Just who do you take me for? The commandment I granted you told me all about every last little detail. That you tried to hide it from me, as you continue to have your little lover's went rendezvous with that little vampire girl and that you disobeyed my order and instead of executing the vampire clan you sealed them away instead <laughs> hoping to one day steal the throne of the demon king not to mention the fact that you actually were sincerely trying to create an underworld where everyone could one day live in peace and harmony absolutely preposterous but since it did make you obedient to me I had been overlooking it all but that ends now the hermit of moments so he just created a being in front of them and whatever this hermit is it's heading towards Zeldris We go back into into the Demon King, and Meliodas is still fighting him. Ah. Before I keep talking, he summoned like the black orbs that we saw last chapter, and just sent them all towards the Demon King. <laughs> you can do it, Captain. Give him a hell, Captain. What is it, that darkness of yours? How is it able to pierce through the armor and body of me, the Demon King? Are those compressed and con concentrated balls of darkness? They have an unfathomable destiny, de density, and force, for, uh, force behind them. Using my condensed power back from the Druid Cave, of trials as a basic he came up with the idea but the captain's magic power has greatly increased so it should be far beyond the level it was then it's so strange just the thought of you all being here to get together with me causing power to swell up from within me Merlin Escanor Diane King, Gulther, Elizabeth. Are we fine now?
please go help Bond. Yeah, Bond will definitely need the help outside. Demon King went into a fucking slash, but Elio shot the walls and destroyed his blade. And he's destroying the armor of Demon King. Captain, I'm but a man who is a huge handful by day and completely useless by night. Even so, for you, I would gladly put my life on the line. After all, not only do I owe that very life to you in the first place, but you are the first and foremost, my friend. Thank you. Captain, if you ever consider giving up on Sissus for the slightest moment, I'll have you keep that promise of ours. What kind of person threatens someone in a situation like this, anyways? Promise? Oh, now I'm curious. Eskinor is also curious. Captain, the only reason reason I was able to regain my heart was all in thanks of thanks of to all the seven deadly sins. That's why the captain who brought everything everyone together in the first place absolutely has come back to us. Tell me something I don't know. Captain, I still want to have a real conversation with the face to face and apologize for it properly. Seven deadly sins dragon sin Meliodas is the strongest. Sure thing. Once I get back, we'll drink the whole night away. All of us together. Meliodas! I'll be waiting for you. He's just going full out attacks against the Demon King. I'll be right there. We're back outside, and Bon is taking attacks by uh, the, de the de uh, Demon King, but up in the air, fucking Seldris is definitely taking attacks from all directions by the puppet. Even now, I still can't forgive you for betraying the Demon Clan, but even still, there are there is one thing that I have to acknowledge. That what you have is something I just wasn't able to. The resolve to make enemies of the entire world for the sake of those dearest to you. Oh. Om Omnius Nebula. Hmm? So that was Zeldris power up and he just slashes the puppet into smithereens with one hand. I think yeah, it's his right hand. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Fucking Demon King is pumbling Bon. I've dealt with that distraction. Now get out of Melios's body and get Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! Oh shit! Demon King just slashed through Zeldris fucking across the chest. God, I don't want him to die. Ow! I thought attack <clears throat> magic wasn't supposed to work on Zeldris. <clears throat> Did you forget I was the one that lent you that power? The Demon King in the first place? Bastard! Meliodas, I just know you will be able to change everything. Did Zeldris just die in this chapter? Fucking Christ. It's in your hands now. How dare you. All their feelings have gotten through. Thanks to Zeldris putting his life on the line. The walls have all come down. 
All that's left is the Captain and the Demon King's one-on-one -on -one battle. I'll finish this with the next one. It is time to put an end to the Cursed Destiny. To be continued in Chapter 305, Death Agony. Holy crap. Oh, well, we're definitely looking for a solid chapter next week. I'm hoping <coughs> when they are able to beat, they take away Elizabeth's curse. Hopefully they can bring Zeldris back and the vampire clan back too. Just because. I want to see that. It was, I say 9 out of 10. Fucking Zeldris dying at the end was definitely a surprise, but. Fucking Christ. after the Demon King is defeated if there's any greater power out there like <clears throat> imagine if the De Demon King is destroyed and Meliodas is the only one left is there a greater power that the Demon King was like the gatekeeper to so imagine I'm gonna use supernatural as a key term um the Reaper, the Reaper that they uh, Dean killed in what the tenth, eleventh season. After at the season finale, when he killed the Reaper, it released the darkness. Imagine if Seven Deadly Sins. This is not close to the end at all. Like them killing the Demon King releases an even greater evil onto onto this world that the likes have never seen before. That'd be my theory of how they keep playing this off, but I don't know what would be greater than the Demon King. So, we'll find out. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, like, if you ever already subscribe channel, I recommend subscribe channel, keep all the content. Otherwise, this is Miss Grizzly and sign off. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night, wherever you are, just have a good day. Hope I see you guys next video, and peace.